Hello, Chrissy. Morning. Hey, Chrissy, you're up and you're dressed. Hell, I thought it was Saturday. <laughs> you could have given us a shout, couldn't you? I'm going to be so late, I could have sworn it was Saturday. It is Saturday. If you could just go into my bedroom, get my shoes, get a tie or something. I'm like, look at that time. You, you, you what? Robin, it is Saturday. <sighs> the, what are you up so early for? Well, it's the only way I can get in the bathroom before he hogs it. Yes, I know what you mean. I mean, how can he be in there for three quarters of an hour and still come out with a stiff flannel? Well, <laughs> he's probably a soapy hand man, isn't he? Very likely. But, I mean, I know he splashes about a lot. He leaves a ring round the walls. <laughs> Look, I know you don't like Larry, but he is a friend of mine. He's eaten all your breakfast. There's no bacon left. I've gone off him. <laughs> There's no milk either. He's had that. Oi, wake up. Oi, oi. Oh. Her husband's coming. What? <laughs> yeah, charming. You've been having midnight snacks again, haven't you? Ah, yeah, well, um, what happened was, see, um, I got up for a glass of milk and the bacon fell out the fridge. Well, knowing how fussy you are, I rinsed it under the tap, uh, put it under the grill to dry it, and it, it smelt so good I ate it. <laughs> Not good enough. No? Well, how about... I was walking in my sleep and I went to the... They were my fags. They were half full last night. I was smoking in my sleep. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. What's she trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Larry, do you want me to uh, give it to you straight? Or do you want me to be diplomatic? Oh, be diplomatic. You're a thieving, scrounging pain in the neck and you're getting on everybody's wick. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you didn't give it to me straight. Do you want your Rice Krispies dry or do you want cooking sherry on them? Oh, no, I don't think so, really. Do you snap, crackle? No. Two days, you said we'd put him up. He's been here two weeks. Morning, all. Do I smell bacon? Not unless your nose is slow. <laughs> is he in no hurry to leave? Last night, he was talking about where to put the Christmas tree. Oh, no, come on, Chrissy, don't exaggerate. OK, sometimes... You know, he may be in the bathroom when you want to use it. Like now? No, no, no. He's not in there now. Oh, isn't he? Right. Morning, Joe. Lend us your towel, eh? Shan't be long. <laughs> he's got to go! Right, he's got to go! As a matter of fact, so must I. I hope he's not going to be in there long. <laughs> Look, grab him by the scruff of the neck and boot him out. He's your friend. All right, all right. I'll tell my best mate you're out, OK? Nowhere to go. Sleeping on the embankment in the rain. Yeah, I'll tell him. But I'll tell you this. I don't know, I'm going to stop laughing. Who's drunk from the milk? Oh, don't start that again. I'll tell you what, I'll go down to Mrs. Rope and scratch some milk off her, OK? With no trousers on. <laughs> I still stand by what I say, George. You are not giving me enough. <laughs> I need more. Yeah, well, I'll do the best I can, dear. <laughs> but it's not enough, George. I mean, nine pounds a week goes nowhere these days. Do you know what a fillet of steak costs? No. No. Neither do I. I can't afford it. <laughs> I'll give you my wage packet every week. Yes, George, but you never leave any money in it. <laughs> no, I mean to show you what I earn. Anyway, my mother brought up eight kids on 30 bob a week. And there was love and laughter. Yeah, it was a very happy home, considering we were all starving. <laughs> Everybody was poor in those days, George. Now it's just us. I mean, why don't you get yourself a proper job instead of that part-time job round the betting shop? Yeah, well, it's my health, Mildred, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with you but dandruff. <laughs> and that's clearing up nicely now you're going bald. Look, just for once, Mildred, just for once, why don't you mention one of my good points, eh? <laughs> you're well insured. That's it. That is it. I've had enough. I'm going up to my den. Nag, 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 nag. Morning. Morning. Oh, morning, love. Come on in. Hello. Uh, can you spare a drop of milk? Oh, I'm sorry, love. That young man that's staying with you, he borrowed my last pint yesterday. Oh, he's got to go. Never mind. The milk won't be here in half an hour, and there's enough in there, you know, for a cup. Sit down. Oh, thanks. Uh, Mr. Roper feeling all right? Oh, he's just gone for a sulk in the attic, along with the rest of the rubbish. <laughs> the attic? Mm. He's supposed to be clearing it out. Mind you, he's been doing it for seven years. Hey, what's it like up there? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Never any peace. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, there we are. 
Santa says he's out of the bath. Well, he's gone down the plug hole. We couldn't be that lucky. No. Right then, what's for breakfast? Oh, nothing. This restaurant is for residents only. What does that mean? Robin will tell you. Fine. Oh, your towel fell in the loo. Sorry. <laughs> tell him! Tell me what? You've got to go, Larry. OK, I'll go. No, no, I mean, not now, not, you know, not this instant. No, neither do I. Oh. Well, I mean, you wouldn't put me on the embankment sleeping in the rain, would you? Well... No, <laughs> well, but I've got to find myself somewhere, haven't I? Or find someone to share with. You've got to be very careful who you share with. Some people can get on your nerves very quickly, you know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. On second thoughts, I withdraw what I just said. What, about me going? No, about you not having to leave right away. Now, Larry, please leave go. Right? I mean, you don't know what I've been getting from those two girls. Yeah, I've got me suspicious, though, eh? <laughs> Not that, the other. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> no, I mean the complaints, the moans. Now, Larry, they've laid it on the line. One of us has got to go. <sighs> tricky. <laughs> it isn't tricky. You're going. <laughs> but we're mates, muckers. We've been friends for years, you and me. I remember the face, but the name escapes me. <laughs> Give me one more week, mate. One day, stranger. <laughs> yeah, OK. Now, if I'd have been you, I'd have kicked me out weeks ago. You were? <laughs> yeah, if you hadn't said something soon, I'd have mentioned it myself. I'll, uh, I'll go and get the local papers. Oh, oh uh, Larry, listen, I've got something to tell you. Uh, it's all right, he's already told me. See you, mate. Uh, sorry, stranger. <laughs> well, Chrissy, <clears throat> I told him I've given him till tomorrow to get out. Oh, that was a bit harsh, wasn't it? <laughs> I give up. I give up. Actually, there's an attic upstairs. It'd suit him down to the ground. Pardon? <laughs> Mr. Roper's clearing it out, or he's supposed to be. That must be those noises we hear sometimes. Oh, and I thought he was up there building a glider trying to escape from Mrs. Roper. <laughs> no, there's a proper room up there. It's dirty, untidy and vacant. Who does that remind you of? Larry. Right. Uh, yeah, but will they rent it out? You know, you know who wears the trousers? Yes, I do. And she said she will. Oh, <laughs> He's used the hot water, all of it. Never mind. With a bit of luck, he'll be going up there. Oh, good idea. Let's murder him. <laughs> Got me now. Uh, Swedish. <laughs> oh, 17. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Ah, uh, 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 hold on. <laughs> just, just, just a minute. I'll, uh, I'll be right with you. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, just doing a bit of polishing. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, Mrs. Roper said we could come and have a look. Yeah. But what? <laughs> the attic? Oh, uh, yeah, all right, well, come in. Yes, uh... Uh, this is it. As yes, I've, uh, I've been uh, tidying up. What was it like before? <laughs> well, these things take time, you know. I mean, Rome wasn't burnt in a day. Yes, and some of this uh, junk is very valuable. I mean, you take that, for instance. You see this moose there? Oh, that was magnificent before the moths got at it. That was uh, killed by moths? <laughs> you could do quite a lot with this place. You could put a stove and a sink over there. Bed over there. No, I only pop up here for an hour or two. I don't want to live up here. <laughs> well, we could paint, paint the walls, put some lino on the floor. No, no, no. It's just to get away from her, you see. Look out here. Whew. Have you listened to her voice? Goes on and on like a rusty fret <laughs> 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 uh, Well, dears, what do you think? Well, I think you'd be very comfortable up here. Yeah, and he'll be out of everybody's way. Yeah, hang on a minute. Oh, I mean, we may have our tiffs, Mildred, but, well, you can't make me live up here if I don't want to. George, Have I said talk... something to upset you? No, 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 it's Larry. I've hardly spoken to him. <laughs> He's moving in up here. Oh! <laughs> I thought for a moment you meant... <laughs> no, he's not. Right. 
Well, that's agreed then, dears. Now, all you've got to do is to just shift all this rubbish yourself. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not having it, do you hear me? And, of course, it need redecorating. Oh, Larry will do that himself. I'm oh. putting my foot down, do you listen? You see, all you're going to do is to board up that water tank, a bit of new pane in the windows. Well, it'll be lovely when it's all finished. That'll be marvellous. Yeah. Listen, when I said no, and when I say no, I mean no. Oh, shut up, George. <laughs> Either you rent this room or we, you go out and get a proper job. Yeah, well, I'll, I'm quite willing to sell him some of the furniture. Well, actually, he's got some rubbish of his own. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, this turned out very nicely, dears, didn't it? <laughs> oh, George, there is just one problem. What's that? Where are you going to put all your dirty books now? <laughs> You'll absolutely love it. Yeah, it's a super room, just what you've been looking for. And it's got tremendous, um... Uh, possibilities? That's the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, of course, you'll have to sort of use your imagination a bit. Well, quite a lot, really. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you know, if you sort of, just sort of, um, <laughs> prepare your mind, you know, and don't so much look at the room as much as the, um... Possibilities. Right, right. <laughs> right, now, what do you think? <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> You're not looking at the possibilities, Larry. No, I mean, you know, get rid of the rubbish, you know, tidy it up, curtains, the sun shining through the window, then I just think about it. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> you just want to get rid of me, didn't you? Anywhere I do. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's a crummy attic. Yeah, but I mean, paint it white and you've got a... Uh, a, a white painted crummy attic. <laughs> What's that are you on? Joe, you tell him. You can see the possibilities, can't you? Bloody hell. There you are, see? She speaks her mind. She doesn't just want to get rid of me. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, charm. <laughs> that's gratitude for you. After all we've done for you, and that's the thanks we get. Hang about. I haven't said I don't like it yet, have I? Not in so many words. Well, then. Do you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I wash my hands of him. So do I. Me too. Let's all wash our hands, eh? It's filthy up there. Hello, son. <laughs> what do you think of the place? Well, I've never oh, seen it. Oh, he loves it. Loves it. Loves it. Loves it. <laughs> Listen, Larry, I'll tell you something. I wouldn't mind living up there. Yeah. There you are. You see, she wouldn't mind living up there. No, I'm serious. You what? Well, it's self-contained, private. No one to pinch your makeup or tights. I don't wear makeup or tights. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I half the time. They keep getting pinched. I don't wear your makeup. Well, somebody does. All right, admit it, it's me. <laughs> Read my shameful secrets in the news of the world. How about you borrow them and you don't give them back? That's better. I'd have the whole place to myself. No more arguments about snoring. I don't snore. No, but I do, and I'm fed up with feeling guilty about it. <laughs> That's seven pounds a week. That's less than I'm paying here to share. Seven pounds? That's not bad, actually, because that room has got a lot of... Possibilities. Yes. Mm. Actually, I wouldn't mind living up there. No, no, just a second, girls. I don't want you two falling out over a crummy attic, so uh, I'll take it. Why? Well, I mean, you're right. It's private. I can take a girl up there any time I like, give her a... Hang about. <laughs> Let's not forget it's my room we're talking about. I do hope my husband hasn't given you the wrong impression about all the stuff in the attic, Mr uh, Morris. A treasure house of objets d'art and antiques? <laughs> he has given you the wrong impression. <laughs> Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Morris. Uh, uh, we have met on the phone. <laughs> yes, I'd just like to say I do know the value of what I got. I watch Arthur Negus. Mm. Uh, oh, yes, you take that for instance, you see. Now, there, that could be Ming or even Tang. Well, there's an easy way to tell. If it was Ming, it would go Ming. If it was Tang, it would go Tang. This one goes Woolworth. <laughs> Show him your Chippendale pram wheel. Now, you keep out of this. <laughs> oh, hey, here, here, now, now, here, 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 this is interesting, you see. Yes, you get a new set of strings, a new bridge, and a new back, be good as new. Uh, <laughs> haven't you got any Mycin or Rococo Save or Myonica? 
Oh, I may have. <laughs> if you knew what it was. Oh, I, I tell you what, I've got, got quite a collection of the Beano and the Dandy. They might be worth a few bob to a collector. They are pre-war, are they? Well, no. Last year's most of them. <laughs> the only thing that fetches a price nowadays is really old stuff. I mean, really old. Oh, you ought to come down and have a look through my wardrobe. <laughs> oh, here. Uh, I'll tell you what I've got. I've been saving this. Uh, this is my granddad's old clock, you see. Now, what do you think of that? Is that in working order? It, well, no. <laughs> Thank God for that. I thought I was late for my next appointment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't want to be unfair. Ten quid the lot. Certainly not. Please yourself, but no one else will shift this junk for less than ten quid. <laughs> that room was offered to me. I'm entitled to first refusal, and I haven't refused, right? It's just it took me a while to see the uh, possibilities. Bringing a girl back any time you like. Yeah, I'm painting her white. <laughs> so I'm having it, OK? <laughs> Listen, he only wants it because we want it. I told you it would work. You're a bit of a psychologist on the quiet. Well... <laughs> on the other hand, I don't want to be unfair. What? Well, I mean, you did find a room. I don't want to live up there with you three resenting it. Why not? You live down here with us three resenting it. <laughs> and Harry, you go up there and have that attic with our blessing. ARC, sarcasm, bitterness creeping in already. Here, I hope. We draw lots through attic. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Look, Larry, there is no need for this, mate. Four bits of paper, four names. Is it Chrissy with a Y? Yes. Yeah, right. Robin with one B. <laughs> right. Uh, Joe, I think I can manage that. Yeah. And myself, Larry. Well, dears, you can clear it out as soon as you like. It's all for the rubbish tip. <laughs> Nicely timed, Mrs R. Pick a name. Pardon? Well, this is dark. Uh, just take one bit of paper. Oh, all right. That's fine. Uh, would you read out the name, please? Larry. Oh, oh congratulations. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll just go and borrow a van and we can start clearing out my little penthouse. Uh, I don't know if it's important, dears, but all the rest of these slips have got Larry written on them as well. <laughs> I rather thought they would have, don't worry. <laughs> Oh, come on, that's enough. I can't take any more. I'll do myself a mischief. Love you, Miles. Hey? Oh, <laughs> <cool. laughs> You're not helping very much. I'm working on something. Right, this is next. One good heave and we'll... Oh, leave it where it is. Oh, perhaps we better empty it first. Right. Oh, <laughs> look. I used to have a teddy bear just like this. I used to take him to bed with me every night and tell him all my secrets. Oh, yeah? Throw him in the pond eventually. Well, he knew too much. Because <laughs> well, I thought so. Look. Look on this violin. Look. Strad. We're rich. Strad, Wick and Son. Is this my arcade person? <laughs> We're poor. Come on, come and do some work. All right. What do you got there, anyway? Oh, well, uh, just old papers and things. Oh, letters. Yeah, well, uh, don't look at them, because they might be private. I'm not looking at them. I'm just looking at the words to see if they are private. <laughs> well, I'd better look at one as well. Double check. <laughs> Dearest Mill. All my love, Georgie. Hey, they're love letters from him to her. God, that's typical of women, isn't it? You'd sit there and read all those letters. And leave me out. <laughs> Actually, you know, we, we shouldn't really be reading these. No. No, actually, you are right, because, you, know, um, you know, some of this stuff is pretty, well, personal and private, you know. <laughs> Listen to this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I pant for your caresses. <laughs> for you, my precious flower, I would climb the highest mountain and ford the deepest river. <laughs> Nowadays, you won't even bring the coal in for us. <laughs> I shall never forget last night. Your tiny hand in mine. The butterfly touch of your hair against my cheek. I hope my cold sore didn't put you off. <laughs> Get you right there. <laughs> listen to this, listen to this. We wandered through the daffodils beside the railway line. A train came past you didn't hear when I said, please be mine. Look, <laughs> <laughs> there's another bit here. Look, look. My dearest, darlingest <laughs> Mill. <laughs> My heart cries <laughs> <laughs> uh, We were just sort of 
um, <laughs> tidying up, you know, and we, we came yes, across... Yes, I know what you found. Uh, can I? Thank you. Sorry, Mr. Earth. It's all right, it's all right. We didn't mean to laugh, but we couldn't help it. Yes, I know. <laughs> I can see it's probably quite funny to you youngsters that a man should pour his heart out on paper like that. Well, no, it, it wasn't so much the, um, the words as, you know, the way you spelled them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I never claim to be an educated man. No, 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 no I, I didn't no, mean that. No, no, it's all right. I know these letters are silly. Well, you write things like that when you're younger and still got hope. A bit daft, I suppose. Oh, I, th I thought your little poem was Yes, really... I know. It's, it's all right. It, it's not important. Not now. None of it is. Uh, just throw them out with the rest of the junk. God, it's murder humping stuff up and down these stairs. Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah, that looks heavy. Yes, it is. Yeah, well, after you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, leave them there. They're just a load of old junk. Oh, they're not. Yes, they are. Well, you know how it is. I was a bit over sentimental and romantic in those days. <laughs> Perhaps I still am. Yeah, watch what you're doing, you silly cow. <laughs> I mean, I didn't do it on purpose. I thought we might all like a nice cup of tea. Oh, that's marvellous. Shall I? Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, uh, while you're here, I might as well give you the first week's rent. Oh, there, no, there's no hurry, son. It's all no. right. Seven quid, you said, right? Seven? You told me you are only going to charge him five. Yeah, well, there's been a little misunderstanding here, you see. So it's uh, five, then? Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, you're going to pocket the difference, were you? You nasty, greedy little man. Ah, language, Mildred? I'll give you language. For 20 years, I've put up with your sneaky, penny pinching little ways. Oh, what about you then? Hey, no, 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 no. Please, please don't quarrel. Look, it doesn't seem right. Not after, well, after reading these. Look, I know we were wrong. Nobody should read other people's love letters. But, well, look, if you read them again and remembered how you felt about each other when he wrote them to you. He's never written me a love letter in the whole of his life. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's all over now, love. That's why she sent them back. Oh, Millicent Briggs. She was my maid of honour at our wedding. Yeah, I know, but oh, you said to... you dirty little devil. <laughs> <laughs>